Okay, brief introduction to Debian form. We're going to go a little bit through the layout and uh, show you how to pull in a field and some basic land leveling designs. Uh, so when you open the program, this is a page you'll come up to. We're going to go and say this is a new project. You'll name the project. We'll just name it Test1. We'll hit next, then we've got to browse to our file. So, uh, going through an Ag GPS folder, go through client, farm, field, and we got uh, either we can either use fill level XML or multiplying text. So, we'll just choose our multiplying text, hit open, fills that in, we hit next. Uh, this should auto select, should pretty much be good to go, shouldn't have to change anything here, hit next there. And uh, lead and leveling design mode is what we want to come in with. So we hit next and finish and brings a field in. So this is what we call the field layer. It has the acres. So if we ever refer to go back to the field layer, that's the layer that has the acre count beside it. So we've got 109 acres here. Our contours are set up on two tenths. Uh, and I always go and hit this show satellite map button. We click that. It's going to take a little bit to go online, find the satellite imagery, and download that for us. While we're waiting on that, you can come over here and uh, click on add survey points. You can look at all the points that you have out here that you surveyed with. Uh, if you got some bad shots or something, you can zoom in on them and right click. And you can delete the survey point if you want to. You can also change the properties if you just want to move it in line with the rest of them around it. So now that we got the satellite imagery in the background, uh, we'll go over here, zoom to fit, get that fit back in here, turn our points off. So we can now come back up here to the little arrow beside the satellite button. We got a sliding. Uh, we can make this opaque so we can slide it back we can look through it we can make it our color map here so if you take and you look through it uh, should be able to see any roads or anything that comes into the project uh, that way so we'll go now to the design level so we got a land leveling design here again let's come back and hit our show satellite map button that loads in the background we're going to do some simple designs here so uh, come up here to add a section line uh, click that button now we got a draw tool so we can come over here and say okay let's start here let's just go down this top of this ridge here uh, as you can see it's giving the degrees and the length of that line as i'm drawing it so I know what degrees I'm drawing that line on. So we're going to come down the, the ridge here. We can go off the edge of the field. That does not matter. Uh, when we get our line drawn, we right click and click complete. So now we've got two sections. Uh, section 2 and Section 3. Uh, we're just going to go up here and hit Best Fit All. Let that calculation run, and OK. It shows if we were to uh, do that, we would be at about a, uh, 1,100 yards an acre across the whole design on the current selection. So this one that's outlined here, this current selection, uh, here's the yardage moved, how many acres. It'll tell you the degrees in the grade and it'll show you the, the compound grade here and what degrees that's at. Um, if we select on this other one, it gives us all that information as well. Uh, we come up here to our editor settings. Grab this box and we'll kind of dock it over here. Now we're going to be able to change the surface. We want to go to proposed surface. It shows our and we want to see our proposed contour, so we'll turn those on and we'll turn that off. So you can see that the grade is quite steep. 
that uh, you can see which direction it's flowing. Over here is all your settings per section. So we clicked on section three. We have that up here. We said downhill direction is 195 degrees. We said nope. We want that to go straight south. So we'll put in 180 degrees. And we'll click this and we said okay we got a little over a foot of fall we said nope we don't want that we want exactly one foot of fall to the south we put that in there and we click calculate and it will make that change for us so it's changed that field uh, to go flowing directly south at one foot of fall as you can see our yardage just went up so now we want to see what does our cut field look like so that will show you the colors of the cut fill. You can turn off the proposed contours, turn on your cut fill contours. You can see how that would look. You're going to be doing a lot of moving dirt from this edge over there. Uh, that's the basic uh, design. If we want to just best fit just this section, we hit the best fit button in the middle. It goes back and it best fits it for us. Uh, we say, okay, we want to add some pads into this. You know, okay, how are we going to add our export dirt in? We're going to go over here where it says balance. We're going to change that to export. And we're going to put the amount of yardage we want to export. Say we want to export 5,000 yards to build roads around the field. Uh, and again, go up here and click calculate. And it's going to add that export dirt in there. So now we see this current selection. We have an export of 5,000 yards in there, which brings our, our yardage up. So uh, if we want to, uh, we can turn off our cut fill contours, go back to our original, an original surface, go back to our colored elevations. So now we can see back to original ground and we say, well, look, we want to move this line. So you can go and just single click on the line. You see the green dots that come up. We can grab this whole line and move it around. So we can say, we're going to shift it over here. That looks like about right. Okay. Go back up here and calculate. And it's going to make that change. If we want to adjust that section line. So we say, look, you do the single click on it once. Now you got some green nodes to drag. You can click on the node. You can drag it down there and say, look, I want to go from here. Click on it. Again, got to, uh, click the gray node, they turn green, and we can pull it over here, let it go, calculate, and uh, it'll go again. If you don't like that section line, you can right click on it, if we can get it to uh, single click on it, and then right click, or we can delete section line, uh, and that'll get rid of it there for us. Uh, just a quick overview.